Plans are underway to put up electric charging stations in shopping malls, factories, gated communities and apartments in efforts to drive the uptake of electric vehicles and motorbikes in the country. Here's Alan Oko with the details. In February 20th, 2024, the Ministry of Lands and Public Works, Housing and Urban Development gazetted the new National Building Code 2024, which states that commercial buildings and multi-dwelling units will be required to have charging ports for electric cars. Ours as Kenya Power is really to support that. So wherever that infrastructure is to be constructed and whoever is coming up with any development and they want Kenya Power to assist or to facilitate that particular provision will be right there with them. Kenya Power plans to earmark 20 million shillings every year for funding electric mobility initiatives. Out of this adoption, we are going to see how well they serve the various segments of the company. And um, we, that is really what is going to drive uh, the, phase out, the phase out plan. Challenges in the rollout of prerequisite laws and regulations are slowing electric mobility adoption. What is currently missing, I would say, uh, we do not have supportive policies to encourage adoption of uh, electromobility and at the same time uh, we have the issues with the charging infrastructure. Let me put it into perspective. A normal internal combustion engine that uses petrol or diesel will use about 15,000 shillings there about to go to Western Kenya. But this particular vehicle will probably just use around 1,000 shillings thanks to the new EV charging tariffs. So it's up to you. Alanaoko, Lunchtime News.